Hello viewers, uh, this is Baraton TV introducing a brand new show Friends for Friends by me, your host, Emily Furaha. In this show, we're going to talk about issues that affect our friendship. You know, sometimes friends become family into our lives and sometimes we go through issues in our friendship that people don't even like talking about it. But here in Baraton TV, in this show, we're going to talk about those issues. Sometimes friends have some issues and we come to a point where we say enough is enough and we want to end this friendship so we're going to talk about those issues sometimes you take your friends to family and your family don't even like your friends and they tell you no we don't want you to be with this person so we're going to talk about those issues and then how we're going to cope with them you know in in life because they are affecting us directly so uh today we're going to begin from the roots of friendship where we have childhood friends so did you have fr friends when you're growing up or did you not have friends so we're just going to to talk about those things uh about childhood friends and does it affect us if we never had childhood friends or does it affect our social life our development mentally maybe some people say like if you never had childhood friends then you grow up being lonely so we're just going to see on our show or on our first episode if we really if those things really affect us or people just talk so on um, with me i have my guests here ready to talk about that about childhood friends we're going to listen to them did they have childhood friends when they, they were growing up or they never had childhood friends and if they never had did it affect them in any way in life so enjoy this show and they are going to introduce themselves and we're going to just discuss this matter so guys how are you how are you yeah i hope you are happy to be here so introduce yourselves first maybe mm -hmm. so that the viewers can know your names my name is janet uh -huh. and my name is jane zai okay so uh there's janet and there's Nzai, and we're just going to ask them some questions and see how childhood friendship affects our lives, you know. So growing up, you guys, did you have friends? Like, okay, on your early age, like from 5 to 13 there, maybe that's where childhood friendship begins. Mm -hmm. So did you have friends? Mm, not really. Not okay. really? Yeah. Okay, uh, you? Uh, it depends on your point of view. Uh, like friends, maybe like those people that you have, you know, you can talk to, you can do, you know, funny things with them. Actually, on my on my side, I think uh, if I describe our friends, mm -hmm. uh, when I was growing up, actually, mm -hmm. I was spending more time with my uh, my cousins mm -hmm. because uh, I'm from a, a extended family. Mm -hmm. So in that aspect, in that scenario, mm -hmm. I didn't have the chance or maybe even uh, the experience of moving away from the uh, like the having homestead. outside people yes you know? so uh, the the cycle that i was living in uh -huh. it's kind of more of a cousin yeah okay so we we did everything together so in terms of that friendship aspect L like yeah I people think, uh, who are not your family no i not really okay so uh you just had cousins like just your family members yes. as friends and yes. you totally did you not have friends or okay, you I didn't have friends but I had some brothers mm -hmm. so I used to relate with. so it's just family also yeah, family so uh growing up and not having those people like outside people like who can say friends from outside like apart from your family because obviously the the family members you have normally you relate so well and they are like you can share things but then like I'm talking about the aspect of having you know friends people who are from outside your family you never had that so how was it like growing up and you don't have someone you know someone from outside the family let's say um children that fun mm -hmm. it was boring i guess yeah uh, mm, you know it's good to have some friends outside yeah your, your family so that you can have different experiences with yeah. them. Mm -hmm. so uh -huh, for you <laughs> I can't say uh, maybe the experience was bad mm -hmm. because uh, uh, from what I was from experiencing, what you had, yeah. okay, uh, mm -hmm. for me it was enough, mm -hmm. okay, because 
we did everything that uh, a child can do yeah. okay with okay. Uh, the people that i had around in mm-hmm. fact i didn't have the second thought of like kind of, of why having should friends I, having friends outside yeah. because from what i was living in like, mm-hmm. everything was fine with me mm-hmm. so i can't give a negative experience about uh, having, having no uh, no friends in the, during your childhood because yeah. you just felt like they were friends to yes, you yes. uh so uh janet like you you never had those people and okay you had brothers just brothers mm. yeah so growing up with brothers and you don't have friends do you think that has affected your life like maybe you know that much mm-hmm. but socially i may say okay i'm not that outgoing mm-hmm. I'm that's an outgoing person so yeah but like it hasn't alone? affected me that much mm-hmm. like being lonely and staying just in the house yeah so uh Okay, you I think you as is a different experience. So like um do you have friends now? Yeah, I have friends. I do have friends. Do you have friends? Yes. Do you have like many friends? Not many. Not many. Yeah. Uh you? And now I think I have friends because I'm a social guy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Who likes to be different uh, tip, uh people from different backgrounds. Mm-hmm. So I think I do have friends. Mm-hmm. It depend on uh, what category. Yeah, okay. okay. So you have different kinds of friends. Yes. So um so your friends like now looking at those people, you know, uh like growing up you never ha- you never had those. You never had someone outside the family and now you have friends. How do you like uh when you look at them, do you see like you have you have achieved something in life maybe having them or you just feel like it's normal having friends? Yeah, I have achieved something because mm-hmm. um okay, you know, if you have friends, if you have some problems, mm-hmm. you approach them, they are able to solve their problems. Mm-hmm. Um academically, socially, things mm-hmm. to do to do with relationships. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so you you can you share things that you never had before. You never had a chance to share things with your with your friends because you never had them. So like uh growing up without those friends. Do you think your parents like no. L- let me like ask uh the reason why you think you never had friends. Like your parents were they like strict or they just you just liked being with your family, um. you know? It's not that my parents didn't want me to have friends, yeah. but um, the other kids, I think their character, their character made my parents not um, want me to associate with them. So you, they were just bad kids. Yeah, their their characters. Are oh, not okay. Appealing. So so yeah. your parents were so strict with the behaviors they just yeah, wanted the you to be. And if they were nice kids, mm. they would. Do um, you think you've turned out so well, like with yeah, your actually, behavior? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm so you're good proud good of now. yourself, yeah. like having yeah. gone through that, like being alone. But now you have friends. You feel like you've achieved something, mm-hmm. and now you you look at your friends and and you you feel like you you are so proud having them. So you appreciate your friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, do you feel like the friends you have? You feel like they make you a better person? Or the experience yeah. you have with them like right now mm-hmm. and the experience you had with your cousins do you think like they are better than your cousins or no no, no. I, i i cannot say like you know for uh, the experience that i had with my cousin when i was uh, a little mm-hmm. now like now i have friends mm-hmm. out of uh, in terms of the boundary that i've created mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. this is a fam- uh, this is family mm-hmm. and this is a friends out of family mm-hmm. i cannot say that maybe the experience i had is bad mm-hmm. But I'm only I'm only going to talk about uh, the transition in terms of uh, now we are more focusing on the diver- diversity of social life. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. we have different backgrounds of these people. Yeah. Uh, on on the other side, I used to have a circle that is more of a family. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Even though I didn't feel the need of me having friends because mm-hmm. I didn't even realize there was such uh, a transition that I need to be made. Mm-hmm. But now. Uh, the cycle that I mean in terms of friendship mm-hmm. with these people, mm-hmm. I have earned in terms of uh, a lot of experiences mm-hmm. that have, I can say they have made me a, a bat- better person in terms of maturity, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Because I can share a lot of things that I cannot share with my with my family, yeah. okay? Yeah. So them being there for me and mm-hmm. me being around them mm-hmm. actually changes everything, okay? So that interaction, okay, I mm-hmm. think 
can make me like you know, uh, made me uh, mature. Yeah. Yeah. So I I can say it is a good thing, but I can also I can't also say that my experience with my family was bad. Uh, bad. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Yeah. So I think we have the balance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The transition is. It's, okay. it's supposed to be there anyway. Uh-huh. Yes. So um, if someone talks about their childhood friends and like how it was fun and how they played and like those kind of stories, how do you feel? Like how do you really feel? Uh, I feel that uh, they had a good experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not that uh, I had a bad experience too. Mm. Well, you know, I had some brothers and yeah. I'm a girl. So yes. Yeah. Uh, there's some girl stuff that you can do yeah. with other girl, girl friends mm-hmm. that you can't do with your brothers. Mm. But there were some games that I used to play yeah. with them. Yeah. So, so you don't really feel like bad that you never had that? Not really. I don't, I yeah. don't feel that bad. You don't feel like that? Yeah. So you're like, you, you are just happy for them that they yeah, have that? Um, are you still like in touch with your cousins? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of them, of uh, course, uh, they have, uh, we have, uh, uh, what do you call that one? We have this past, mm-hmm. and every one of us has followed their own path of life, mm-hmm. okay? And there are some, uh, some which maybe they can be calling you, okay? Yeah, yeah. And uh, actually talking about things that you used to do, maybe, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. But not all of them, because yeah. uh, the lifestyle, as, as well as the, uh, the lifestyle changes, mm-hmm. then you can only know that, okay, being busy here and there, mm-hmm. uh, the communication also diminishes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I can't say they are calling so much, mm, okay? yeah. but uh, of course they are family. So yeah, I have yeah. to be in touch with them in one way or the other. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we are there for, for each other. Yeah. So um, how how can you say, like uh, there, there are people out there with, or maybe like around you mm. who have so many friends, you know, they are so social, you know, with with everyone like everyone knows them if they come here then like who are they know all of us here um when you look at those people and like for you you know growing up you never had that so like for now when you look at that person that kind of a person who has like almost everyone everyone's heart Mm -hmm. you know how do you feel when you look at them and what can you say about those those Uh, people it's it's not it's not bad having many friends but it, it depends mm-hmm. on the type of friends you have. Mm-hmm. You can have many friends that mm-hmm. are not helping you. Yeah. You can have few friends that they, they might be help. They might be helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. And out there, there are parents who are also so strict with their mm-hmm. kids. And sometimes you look at the reasons they have and you like, no. I think, so like, what can you tell those parents out there who have their kids now growing up you know like with your experience do you think you would even like if i may ask like would you raise your kids the same way like not having friends and you would you like raise your kids with just their cousins or would you you know mm. <coughs> okay you know that is a tricky uh, tricky question mm-hmm. uh because from my experience it's it's, it's because of uh, from the family that I was coming from, mm-hmm. okay, an extended mm-hmm. one. Now, nowadays, I think uh, we are more of, uh, if maybe I have my own family, mm-hmm. then I can have my own homestead, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now, in that scenario, mm-hmm. uh, okay, uh, at least nowadays, we, there are a lot of things that maybe we cannot uh, get more than a certain number of children, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. So that li- limitation th- in terms of children, mm-hmm. It uh, brings totally different aspect in terms of how I was raised. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so in this scenario, I think it is a good thing to have friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the the neighbor, because you are going to start with the neighbor. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. if you have good neighbors that you mm-hmm. can know, okay, at least they will be my interacting child with is my secure, child. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. I think there's a room for you as a as a parent to to live and nurture the. Uh, the, the uh, the kids mm-hmm. in that way of life in terms of having friends yeah. because uh, you alone as a parent uh, you might not be enough so much yeah. to raise this one and mm-hmm. to make yeah. them yeah. mature aware so you, you just have to give a room of uh, mm-hmm. uh, friendship mm-hmm. yes. yeah. and you okay I will, um, I will advise parents mm-hmm. to let their children have um, friends 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it depends on the characters. on the on the friends uh, characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So they can just have they they should let them have friends. Mm-hmm. Then like manage the characters of the of, of the friends. Like no no when your child leaves the house know who they they are with and make sure you know the characters of these kids also it's good to manage their behavior but it's not good to restrict them from having friends because childhood friends helps like it makes some i feel like it makes someone socially you know socially well yeah. also so uh to those people who still have contacts with their childhood friend they're still friends like good friends like up to now what can you tell them mm. if you know you had uh, <coughs> uh childhood friends mm-hmm. and maybe you still have some contact with them mm-hmm. I would advise it, it's not a, a bad thing to be uh, in communication with them just continue that scenario at least you remind yourself of where you're coming from yeah. I think that aspect of life also makes the transition to the outside yeah. world much easier mm-hmm. than you maybe cutting all the communication that you had with them yeah. so make sure that uh, uh, you continue in the same same way of communicating mm-hmm. with them uh-huh. And advice to those okay. people? Um, I will say that they should, okay, if they if they were nice friends and if they have made them become better people, mm-hmm. they should keep them. How about uh, someone who never grew up with friends like you? What can you tell them? Is there hope that they can? Yeah, yeah they should have friends. It's very good to have friends. Okay. Yeah. So uh guys that has been childhood friendship and these people like they never had friends, they had only family and you've just had their experience. So it was it wasn't that bad. So if you're out there and you never had childhood friends, it's okay. You can still make new friends. It, there are so many people out there who will be willing to be friends with you. So just don't don't just be indoors because you never had friends. It's not good to be alone. It's also it's always good to just share, you know, your experience with people and let them just hear you, you know. And um, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we welcome you to the next episode. I hope you enjoy this show and stay tuned. I've been your host, Emily Furaha. Bye. Bye-bye.